The tissue is made up of muscle and fat cells, which the scientists separate from one another. What we need are the muscles, which are then dissected and cultured. Cell culturing is where a cell is removed from a plant or animal and then put into a favorable artificial environment, usually some type of substrate that supplies essential nutrients like amino acids and carbohydrates to grow. All it takes is just one singular muscle stem cell to grow up to one trillion muscle cells. The newly grown muscle cells naturally merge together to form tiny myotubes, which are then placed in a ring. The muscle cells' tendency to contract frequently causes them to grow into a small strand of muscle tissue. The muscle tissue tubes are then layered together to form a hamburger shape. One muscle cell has the potential to turn into one trillion muscle tissue strands, which is a lot of burgers. The lab-grown hamburgers don't quite look like normal hamburgers and are much paler in color and blander in taste. But as scientists point out, that blander taste is a fair trade for an efficient way to create protein and feed the world's growing population. The price of lab-grown hamburgers has already dropped from $325,000 to just over $11 per patty. While it is still pricey compared to a Big Mac, which costs $4.79 on average, the price will likely drop in the future as production methods are streamlined, meaning that more likely than not, lab-grown meat will be on your dinner plate in the near future. That's gross. It's you know, this is Satan. This is Satan's doing. You know, yep. this is Satan trying to get you to stop doing things how Yah want you to live and eat. Satan is programming and making a new breed of, of, of things. And anything that Satan is doing is going to end bad for anybody who's a child of Yah. That's the whole purpose of it. Waffles and oozes the way a burger should. But this patty is made of ingredients a cow would happily munch on. The burger begins life as a mixture of protein and the key ingredient, the one that makes this veggie burger bleed. It starts to look kind of like lean meat. They nickname it plant's blood, an iron-containing molecule called heme from genetically modified yeast. And just to point this out, I don't know if y'all know anything about genetically modified organisms. That's something that scientists make. You know, it's basically they saying, well, we can make, like when you go to the store and, and you read something like peanut butter, no peanut butter. No peanuts is in it, but they have made it taste and feel like peanut butter. This is a genetically modified organism, and you don't know exactly what they put in that to render that. You know, so they're, they're, that's what they're, they're making the blood, and then go back to life in the blood. You know, what they're doing. No, they're, they're making. They're making, but, it, but it's, 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 a, it's a Frankenstein. Everything's a Frankenstein that they're making. And... I just wanted to point out the GMO. They're, they're, they're making this Frankenstein food. Is what's responsible for the flavor generation of meat. This burger is 100% vegetarian. But another Silicon Valley company is actually growing meat using fish cells. We grow them out into massive numbers, and then all at once we turn them into the muscle, fat, and connective tissue that people want to eat. They're trying to appeal to a growing market, not veg. And the people who want to eat this is the radical veganism movement that are, I'm going to show you in a little bit, uh, that, that are basically brainwashed idiots that are radical. They're basically anarchists for, for, for veganism. And you're going to see how extreme they are. And it goes back to 1 Timothy 4, that seducing spirit forbidding, forbidding man to eat certain meats that Yah has made okay. And they're telling you, no, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. Vegetarians, but meat lovers looking for a healthier lifestyle. And they're attracting hundreds of millions of dollars from investors like Bill Gates. We'll be launching in Canada within the next couple of years. It tastes meat-ish. 
It's so juicy I stain my shoes. But some environmentalists say these new genetically modified foods haven't been fully tested. People are becoming guinea pigs. We are being used to test food that we don't actually need. The FDA doesn't actually require companies to test new food products, even genetically modified ones. Our current regulatory system has fallen drastically. And you can see, you can see what's coming during the market of these times. You know, they're not making, again, it's silicon. If y'all know about Silicon Valley, that's, that's where everything's happening. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, it's New York, Silicon Valley, uh, the start of New York Stock Exchange, Silicon Valley. These are the two things that make America run, you know, world run almost. And when they say they're putting hundreds of million dollars into something, that means it's coming. So, and Satan is ready for the market of beasts to get the, to get the uh, five wide versions out here so they can get this ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? Silicon Valley isn't waiting around. The goal? Completely replace animals as a food production. You hear what he said. He's not he's not suggesting. He's saying we want to completely replace. And this is this, you're not this type of vegan, uh, brother Ishmael. You know, you let you let somebody alone, they eat the burger. I, I didn't even know that they try to process meat out of or try to well, make like meat. Well if you're here at that time, you know, you ain't gonna have any choice. You know, you're gonna eat it. Or not eat it. You know, you have a choice right now to make sure you get a body here. But um, <laughs> this is what's coming. But my point in showing you this, he's serious. He, he's not making this a suggestion. We want to completely el eliminate animal meat. And these are the seducing hamburgers from a cow. These are the seducing spirits that are in this time and it's you're gonna start seeing how demonic it is as we go on. They still have. Silicon Valley isn't waiting around. The goal? Completely replace animals as a food production technology by 2035. They still have a lot of ground to make up. Impossible foods can churn out. And, and, and when these people say these things, they're, they're, I'm, I'm going back and stressing, they're serious. When they say they got a time date, that they're probably, you know, saying even even ready before that, they say by 2035 we're gonna get it. You know, and they're probably ready more ready than that. 450,000 kilograms of its burger a month is a fraction of ground beef consumed monthly in the U.S. That's less than one tenth of one percent. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Redwood City, California.
Let's turn to a story about the business of food. Economics correspondent Paul Solomon takes a look at two startups aiming to help the planet and improve health by serving up plant... Oh, it's going back to we're trying to improve health. We're trying to improve your health. We're trying to improve your health. Yeah, I didn't tell you to do that. Yeah, I said what I made, what I made to eat with Thanksgiving. We understand what we made to eat. That's, that's what you eat. You ain't got nothing else. Nobody told you to get in the lab, take out some enzymes from a, a, a cow's spine, and put it in a, a petri, petri dish, and have it culture laid, and then make meat from that. Nobody, I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't tell you to do that. But this goes back to what they was doing before Noah. Like, right. this wasn't no, I, a lot of people misunderstand, like, like this was some not advanced society back in when Noah. They were advanced back in Noah times. Right. They, you know what I'm saying? This technology that we're getting right now is old technology. Yes. They were doing so many things back there. You know, they were doing all these things. It's just coming around back. Based burgers that they believe will wean Americans off meat. It's part of his weekly series, Making Sense. It looks like a burger. Looks like a burger. Reads like a burger. Introducing. See how they keep emphasizing on the blood, though? Mm. You know how all the plant based blood, and it bleeds like a burger. Because they like that. They want their blood. You know, they emphasize on their blood. Impossible. The life is in the blood. Burger. It's meat made entirely from plants. Invented by a pretty cool scientist named Pat Brown. Bye, Pat. Pat is CEO of a hot startup called Impossible Food, the 300 million venture capital dollars in Silicon Valley to make mock meat. What's your background? Where, where were you from before this? I mean, what were you doing? I was a professor at Stanford for 25 years in the medical school. I just wanted to cook. No, and just why is a tenured Ballyhooed biochemist? And so when I, when I heard him say this, his background, and he worked for the devil, but his background is in DNA manipulation. So these people, Satan said, no, these people are just somebody I had an idea. Satan placed them in place. They know what they're doing. They got them familiar spirits taking that LSD. The demons telling them what to do, just like uh, uh, Bill Gates. You know, people be like, oh, Bill Gates is so smart. Even he will tell you he was sitting in a room taking LSD. So these people are getting their information from demons, and the demon technology is giving to you. Flipped his super safe career to flip burgers? I realized that animals are just a prehistoric technology. A you hear Animals are prehistoric technology. It's barbaric. See what they're going to do? That's barbaric. You eat real beef. You're so barbaric. <laughs> and we're going to see how, I'm telling this what they're doing right now, man. Like, the vegans, it, I, I had a hard time looking for a violent vegan ve uh, video that wasn't overly violent. I had a hard time finding them. They're very violent people. And what happened with Cain? Cain was very violent. He wanted eat the yeah, why don't you eat the fruits and vegetables? Y'all say I don't want this. I just gotta kill somebody now. <laughs> <laughs> this this spirit choice for kill me. I have no other choice. They will kill you. Make no, these vegans, because they have this seducing spirit, they will kill you. I am playing. <laughs> Cain is their example. That the use of animals for this food is the most destructive technology in use on Earth today. The solution to the problem is develop a better technology. So his lab rejiggers plant molecules to replicate the fleshy flavor and texture, even the aroma. So this is... So you get the smell of the burger, right? Correct. This is an old factometer. Impossible's flavor scientist, that's Celeste holtz Schiedinger. But why is smell so important? There's only actually a few receptors on the tongue. There's 400 recep different receptors in your nose. And what are the basic ingredients? So this is wheat protein. This is a protein, not starch, from potato. This is a heme... That's the uh, secret to fake blood. Sauce. We discovered that... Uh, heme is the magic ingredient that is uh, uniquely responsible for giving meat 
uh, its meaty flavor. The, or as the CEO puts it in the company's rhapsodic heme biopic. Heme is a beautiful iron containing molecule. I just want to keep y'all understanding how they always emphasize it on the blood. What he's talking about is beautiful enzymes. He's talking about the blood. The blood, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, when, when we put this fake blood in here, oh, it really gives that taste, that taste. The blood, the blood, the blood. And it's essential for pretty much life on Earth. I see there's actually a spot of blood over there. That's the heme, huh? Yeah, that, uh, that red color comes from the heme molecule. Same thing that makes your blood red. We've engineered yeast to produce a protein that's normally produced by a soy plant. Again, a DNA scientist saying that they created a strain of yeast to yield a certain thing that they were looking for. So. It's all about genetically modified things. You don't know what they're doing. Just like old girls in the last video. These people are test dummies. You don't know what you're eating. But this is, they getting all ready for the mark of the beast. This is the beast food. Mm. Mm. And this stuff is on the market right now. Possible's brown. Good. Is the yeah, that, uh, you buy like $11, I think, at the Whole Foods and Health Foods. And they're and they're, they're marketing is always the healthier choice. You're so smart when you do this. You oh you, you're so you, you you're intelligent. You're not like them. You know they're eating meat. And and a lot of people you know people who have poor diets. I mean America's fat. I mean feet stuff in their face with all this stuff. It's easy to beguile somebody who's like you don't want to look like them. You know look at them. All they eat is fried chicken and fried hog moths, pig fat. Look at them. You know they're very unhealthy. And that's what Satan do. Satan like to put something to the extreme, and then, hey, I got a, I got a pill for you. A competitive edge, but competitive with whom? Turns out there's another big player in the plant-based burger business, run by another brown, Ethan, no relation, CEO of Beyond Meat. He's gone from fuel cells to food. And he too thinks mock meat is man's gift to the planet. If we can be that group of people that separate meat from animals, then that's a net net plus for the human race. And it's worth investing in. Impossible has heme, beyond meat, peas. We can take the amino acids from peas and we can basically reset the structure so it takes on the fibrous texture of muscle or, or meat. They're looking for a valuation that is the next generation down from millennia to ship to some 200 high-end restaurants around the country. And see what they're doing here? But a new now, plan. it's a trendy thing. Oh, you know how I like the restaurants around. I wouldn't eat that with a... Now it's at the expensive restaurants. We're hip, and what do the followers like to do? They want to follow Madonna, they want to follow Mariah Carey, they want to follow Michael Jordan, and they all work for Satan, and the dummies, the foolish people, follow them. Oh, I'm tricking. Now it's at, uh, what, 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 what was the restaurant? Uh, Cheddar. Is at, it's at, uh, Five Guys. It's at Arby's, you know what I'm saying? Because, oh, I can be like, I can be like, uh, this person, eat what they eat. At the plans to make a million pounds of meat a month to ship to some 200 high-end restaurants around the country. But Beyond is already in over 3,500 restaurants and grocery stores, including Whole Foods. And it recently inked a deal with Safeway. So, it's here. And like I was just saying about that 35 years, I'm saying, man, they're way close in uh, uh, to 2035. Right it's here! Oh, 2018! <laughs> It's Come here. On, they're going to hit the half the mark already. It's here. It's here. Super Rica. Super Rica. Okay, so they're gaining acceptance, but what do these babies taste like? Boy, this is like an In-N-Out burger. I mean, uh, but these quarter pounders were convincing and when garnished, indistinguishable from the usual real thing. In L.A., Steve Healy is... Look at that man. Looking like a goat. Look at the eyes. The eyes on the gate. The eyes. <laughs> There's something else in here. I'm, I'm, I don't want to emphasize something else in here. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, you see it. Oh, yeah, you see spirit. Yeah, go on, eat. The seducing yeah, yeah. spirit yeah. in, uh, what is it? First Timothy's. Now, y'all ain't got to go to it, but I just want to uh, emphasize on this because the devil's yeah. children are here. You just got to look. <laughs> if you can. Now, 
the Spirit speaketh especially that in the later times, which are now, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. CEO of the fast casual West Coast chain Veggie Grill. How much does it cost? Uh, the Beyond Burger is twelve ninety five. And how much of the cost is the beef that isn't? It's much more expensive than beef. But it's not about the price. It's about oh, you have last year's shoes on. I got this year's shoes on. I'm I'm trendy. I'm popular. That's right. And that's why it's starting in California with the celebrities. And we're going to talk about how many celebrities. Some of the celebrities that are being if they pushing this agenda. Ground beef is at least half the price of CEO. This is just the dawn of faux flesh technology with heavy upfront costs. And we're already kind of pricing where grass fed uh, beef would price, right? We will dramatically underprice meat. When you're at the, again, when you're at the grocery store and you don't know no better and you see some fake beef for. A dollar fifty-seven a pound, and you look at the real beef for three fifty a pound. Oh yeah, that fake blood in it, fake blood in it, take make it taste the same. Pete's gonna eat this. My sandwich. At Vegetarian Clover Food Lab in Cambridge, and the Massachusetts. And ain't talking about this. That's what y'all put on my scrap. Just sitting there, and y'all was like, "Be Satanist." And I looked it up. I learned to do a lesson on it. And the churches ain't getting these people ready for this. Massachusetts and its dozen Boston area locations, impossible. Oh, six times it's trust as the fix the so-called People's Republic of Cambridge. And these, when I, these is the main vegan person. Women, colorful hair. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. This is the this is the main reported of the vegan movement. Women and you, the. the yeah, and, and we can the tattoos, and we're gonna, we gonna talk about how, how veganism goes into spirituality. Because once you, oh, I'm eating, my, my temple is clean now. Well, let me go do, let me be a Buddhist. It, it, it goes to that. That's the next process of being one with the earth. Well, I want to be connected with the earth. It, it's just a gradual process. That's what I said when I started looking at this stuff, man. It's some deep stuff, man. Wicca. And then like, oh, uh, let me be a witch. Let me be one with, with the with nature. But a lot of the uh, proponents of these are witches. Is my, my Why meat at all? That helps bring people to clover and then exposes them to focus on vegetables. Between, it's a disrupt the food industry. Thank God for that cheese. That's his, that's his first, that's his fourth burger. I didn't see him take He took a bite out of the lab. He took one a few moments ago. He just... That's his first uh, birthday. <laughs> he liked it. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true cynic. We need to reduce our meat consumption. Yeah, he, he did even too. Uh... Yeah, Spoken like a true cynic. We need to reduce our meat consumption. And this is one. And this whole line. And this goes back to this whole. Oh, the world is uh, overly populated and. We don't got any resources, and 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 and, and the uh, uh, we can't uh, make enough beef. Uh, uh, the carbon dioxide and all the air is so polluted. If you just drove up my town, how much land you see when you drove here? Absolutely. I remember I was driving from here to Texas uh, about a year or something ago. Land, land, just empty, just empty, just empty. But Satan is telling the people because they don't know no better. Oh, we're running out of space. We don't have the space. We don't have water. We don't have the supply. We got to get you into these cities. We got to get you into these compounds. And, and and this is how we're going to be able to feed everybody and house everybody. It's an all big trick trick for the market of the beast. Strategy to do it. I mean, this restaurant has There's been no doing food. it. America throws away. I think they said this is the government. Like forty percent of the food it produces is no running out of food. America produces another enough food to feed Africa with ease. So these are just lies. But it's the agenda. Long before they had a meat-like product, 
uh, with great success. I think that uh, millennials' attitudes toward meat eating is changing a lot. And that's the key market. Millennials, they're out of their mind. They grew up on Prozac. They grew up on, on I need a quiet space. They grew up on everybody's a winner. They grew up, they've been brainwashed. Th these are Satan children. These millennials, they're Satan children. They've been, this is, and these are who the extreme big vegans are. And I'm going to show you in a second. They're, they're out of their mind. The devil is in them. They're, they're, they're much more troubled by eating animals than, than we are. And, um, and, and many of them are moving off of meat. The challenge will be making it as cheap as uh, a McDonald's hamburger. And the challenge of creating not just chopped meat, but steak, and of reducing the saturated fat from vegetable oils in these patented bad genetic modification that makes the heme. And finally, of figuring out if we and the planet will really be better off without any beef at all. But as Judy so often says, that's all we have time for tonight. So uh, we're going to talk about how this is Baal worship. This is worshiping Baal. And we'll go into it in a little bit. You'll see, man, this, this whole uh, uh, vegan stuff, these people are the devil. Now, this is a vegan protest. These people are out of their mind. They have fake blood. They're butt naked? They're naked. Jeez. Uh, don't tell me I can't show this video, uh, Brother Ismail. You go no, no, I'm just saying that out there. Yeah, I just told you these people. I just told you these people. Yeah, I just told you these people. Yeah, I just told you these people. Okay, but these, I know y'all go to the grocery store, y'all see it contains the little white containers that the meat be in. This is what they're in. The little styrofoam containers. They're, 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 they're they're showing, they're protesting meat and saying how wrong it is and, and whatnot. And they're doing it by just putting themselves on display as pieces of meat in the store. So they're going to, blood is going to be, fake blood is going to, so these demons, these witches are going to put fake blood on these idiots and they're going to cover them with plastic and a label. <laughs> like a, like a, some meat. But these people are, these are, these are children of the devil and have been, and some of them have been seduced by this seducing spirit. And this is mild. I told you I had, I had to look for it. This is mild. These people, are, and this is the Cain spirit. This is the Cain spirit. The level of demons that are on you. This is Satan mocking them because this is what Satan's going to really do to the people who are here during the tribulation. And you got to remember the giants, the Nephilim, fake, fake humans. Trust me, the Nephilim are laughing. They're laughing. This is our food getting ready. <laughs> Packing them up right now. <laughs> And notice, and notice the tattoo, and notice the tattoos on this. One thing about a lot of these vegans, they're heavy. This one going to the spirituality. They're, they're every time they have an increase of spiritual knowledge, they say they want to get tattoos of spiritual Buddha and all this stuff. Tattoo, they want to cut themselves. But it goes with the veganism. Wow, Correct. Thank you. 
If you don't know what this is, I'm letting you know. It's Satan. Satan. Is it traditional? Traditional Satan. <laughs> traditional art. Okay. So they don't they don't call it Satan. They call it Satan. It's a, it's a, it was invented in uh, Japan by um and whatnot. And so they, they the way they spell it or say it or whatnot, but that's the what of all the words they could have called it, Satan. And um and this is just, you know, another sign of, you know, how the agenda of what they're doing, they're letting you know what this is about. And um uh, this is uh I ain't gonna save the time, but uh I just point that out real quick of, of how they're putting it in your face. And this is not a brand, this is a uh, a, a, a style. So many brands have this style, and this is this is one of the most popular styles, the Satan style. Okay, and and this is another brand of vegan stuff. It's called No Evil, but um, I just, I just it's called No Evil. It's a vegan brand, but I picked this one. I I, I emphasize this one. Because if anybody knows about Revelation, Revelation 7 and 3, anytime you see a woman in like Hollywood movie and all this stuff dressed in, in, in red, they're doing that on purpose. And, and this is the harlot. This is the harlot who's riding the beast spirit. And this is what's going on right here again. The harlot of Revelation 17, of, of Revelations, she's right there. And emphasize on, on, the, on how the bird is looking. He's like, yeah. That church. <laughs> yeah. She's 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 with the beast. Now Satan's good on plan. If you not study, Satan will put something in front of your face. You don't know what they're doing. But she's with the beast right now and loving the beast. And what does the woman in Revelation? The scarlet woman who's riding the beast? She's she's loving the beast. So Satan, this is another vegan brand, it's called No Evil. I'm just putting this out there because, you know, when y'all told me about this. Veganism, Satanism. I'm saying, okay, okay, I look into it, and bang, doors wide open. Okay, and uh, now I'll go back to the scriptures. I just wanted to show y'all how it is, how these vegans are. And this is the mild version. This is very mild. They get re way more worse than this. I mean, they, they burn down farms, all types of stuff. But um, I'll get back to this. Now we'll go to the liberal mind of this. Uh, Romans chapter 1, 18 to 32. Romans chapter 1, 18 to 32. Romans 1, 18 to 32. For the wrath of Yah is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of Yah is manifest in them for Yah have shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Yah head, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew Yah, they glorified him not as Yah, neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination like what the uh, extreme veganisms are doing, the descendants of Cain, quote unquote, and their foolishness and their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. What they said that uh, we're going to make everybody eat uh, this fake meat and we're going to make it trendy, we're going to put it in all the fancy restaurants and, and that one woman said everybody's being guinea pigs, they become fools and change the glory of Yah, of the uncorruptible Yah, into an image made like corruptible man, and to birds, and four feathered beasts, and creepy things. And this is to 32. Wherefore, Yah also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, and, you know, this goes on a multitude of levels. They're dishonoring their body by putting this stuff willingly into their vessels. Who changed the truth of Yah into a lie and worship 
and serve the creature, creator, the, the creature more than the creator. And this is what this thing is doing. They're just saying, love the creature. They don't care about you, but they loving the creature. Who is uh, more than, than the creator who is blessed. Hallelujah. For this cause, Yah gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into which uh, go against nature, and likewise also the man leaving the natural use of women, burned with lust, one toward the other, man with man, working things in assembly, and receiving themselves that recompense of their error, which was meant, and even as they did not like to return, retain God in their knowledge, Yah gave them over to reprobate mind. This is why they're in the middle of a city spraying blood on themselves and wrapping themselves like meat. To do those things which are not con uh, covenant, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornicating, wickedness, covetousness, maliceness, full of envy, murder, that Cain spirit, debate, deceit, uh, Melegant, uh, whispers, backbiters, haters of Yah, uh, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. They're inventors of evil things. Disobey, obedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection. These people have no natural affection for the fellow brother or their sister. None. Inplaceable, unmerciful. Who, knowing the judgment of Yah, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same thing, but have pleasure in them that do them. You eating your meal, they coming up to you, you, you blood eaters, you blood eaters, you blood eaters. Out of their mind. They're out of their mind. Uh, the next one, uh, this is talking about liberals. Uh, Colossians 2 and 8. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophy. Oh, dude, who's a DNA scientist? Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of man, after the uh, rudiment of the world, and not after Yahusha. And last one on liberals, because this this is this is the spirit that's on here. You know, the woman who hit somebody with the Jeep Liberty. Uh, they're, they're, these are the liberals. Isaiah 33 and 5. 33 and 5. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. These are vile people. Nor the cruel said to be bountiful. For the vile person, for the vile person will speak vanily, vanily, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against Yah to make empty the soul of the hunger, the hungry. Look at that to make empty because they about what they about to put in you they ain't food, so you gonna be hungry. <laughs> And he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Okay? Uh, that's the liberal. So, Yah is not for these liberal people. These people are maniacs. They have a seducing spirit on them. And they're, they're basically children of the devil, uh, to be honest. Uh, maybe some of them can repent. I don't, I don't know. But they, 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 are, they are with this seducing spirit. Now, okay, now we're just going to touch on um, how Yahusha welcome the, uh, the the sacrifice because uh, again all these people are coming with the spirit of Cain they and it's an opposition spirit to Yah Yah tell them what to do they don't want to do it I want to make Yah salad Yah say no I want lamb some lamb chops some fat that's what I want and give it give it to me like this not like that not like how you want it because that's not Yah's spirit uh, Ezekiel 45 uh, and 7 to 25. And as we was talking a few months ago, how um, animal sacrifice is coming back in the millennial. And this is just talking about the prince, which um, I believe is uh, Yahusha.
coming back on that one, but um, but this is animal sacrifice in the future kingdom. I mean, if you're not familiar with that, you know, just read chapter Ezekiel, uh, and that should clear up that animal sacrifice is coming back. Uh, Forty-five, seven to twenty-five, and the portion of and the portion be for the prince on the one side and on the other side of the oblation of the holy portion and the possession of the city before the obligation of the holy portion and before the portion possession of the city from the west side uh, westward and from the east side westward and the link shall be over against one of the portions from the west border I, I'll skip down to 17 17 it was supposed to be 17 anyway and it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings in the feast and in the new moons and in the Shabbats in all uh, similitude of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offerings and the meat offering and the burnt offering and the peace offering offerings to make reconciliation reconciliation uh, yeah, there you go. Tongue to test it. Reconciliation. For the house of Israel, thus said Yah, in the first month, in the first day of the month, thou thou shalt take a young bullock without blemish and cleanse the sanctuary, and the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offerings and put it upon the post of the house and upon the four corners of the settle of the altar and upon the post of the gate of the inner court, and so thou shalt do seven days of the month for everyone that earth, and for him that is simple. So shall ye reconcile the house, and in the first month, in the fourteenth day of the, of the month, ye shall have the Passover, a feast of seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten, and upon that day shall the prince prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bullet for a sin offering and seven days of the feast he shall prepare a burnt offering to Yah seven bullets and seven rams without blemish daily the seven days and the kid of the goats daily for, uh, for a sin offering and he shall prepare a meat offering of ephah of an ephah for a bullock and an ephah for a ram and a hen of oil for an ephah in the seventh month, in the fifteenth day of the month, shall he do the like in the feast of the seven days, according to the to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil. And I'm I'm, I'm pointing this out because a lot of people, you know, some people say, you know, Yahushua didn't eat meat and and whatnot, and I'm just emphasizing on this how Yah want things to be done, and and you know, especially on feast days, he want and all the males especially to uh, participate in the eating of meat and you know that goes contrary to the Cain spirit uh, just a few a couple more uh, Genesis 18 1 to 8 can I say something real quick yeah go ahead I like what you say that too you gotta look at it too yo who should y'all that first sacrifice it was meat mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying right. it was straight meat that's right and then, and then you point out to me what I see again is when in the millennium, when we've had a feast days, there's going to be meat. Right there. That's why I like you saying that. That's what y'all are showing yeah. me I'll pray. about the meat. Mm -hmm. Go and, and it goes against this, this, this extreme seducing spirit of veganism. These are right. extremists. And, and the scriptures say, man, you know, if you want to eat vegetables, that's, that's fine. Yeah. But these people look down and forbear people, oh, don't eat me, and they're, t they're about to take meat off of the table in a second, yeah. you know? They say, no, nobody gonna eat this again. All right, one to eight. And Yah appeared unto him in the plains of memory, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day, and he left, he left up his eyes and looked, and lo, Three men stood by him, which were Yahushua and two angels. And when he saw them, he ran to them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground and said, My my master, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. 
Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourself under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your, and comfort ye your hearts. And after that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do, as thou hast said. And Abraham hasted into the tent and unto Sarah, and, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the heart. Uh, the heart. And Abram Ham ran unto the herd, and fetched a cow tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. I'm just emphasizing about Yahushua eating meat. Um, Luke uh, 2, chapter 2, 41 to 49. And it came to pass that while Elizabeth heard the uh, solution, solution of of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. No, that's not. That's not. Uh, two forty one forty nine. This is when they went to the Passover preaching. Point is Yahusha, um, I'll skip that one. Uh, this is Exodus 23, 14 to 17. The point was um, Yahusha, each year they went to go keep the Passover, and he had to eat the lamb. So, you know, it, it, so some people, you know, say, you know, well, Yahusha was a vegetarian, he didn't eat meat because a lot. He had to keep the Passover, and to keep the Passover, he had to eat the meat. You really don't say it. Because, trust me, they, because he even waited. Uh, that, that was the first time I, he waited uh, for for a day, and he was talking for three days. He was talking to the uh, to the to the uh, to the to the Pharisees and the, and, the, and the scholars and the teachers, and uh, he was amazing them uh, as they were, as he was speaking to them and breaking things down. But if he didn't partake in the lamb eating of the lamb, they would have said, "Hey, we, we don't need to talk to you, man, because you know you're not even eating the lamb. You, you all." So I was pointing that out. Yeah, you had to fulfill the law. He had to be blamed. He fulfilled everything without sin. That's right. So he so he ate meat. That, that was the point. 23, 14, 17. Three times thou shalt keep a feast unto unto me in the year. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread, which is the Passover. Another uh, is this uh, another way of saying Passover, unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days, as I command thee. In the time appointed of the the month of Abi, for in it thou comest out of Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of harvest, and the feast of first fruit labors, which thou hast sown in the field, and the first of in gathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field, three times in a year. All of thy males shall appear before Yah. So that was just, you know, reinforcing about, you know, Yah, who should take on eating meat. You know, he ate meat, and, uh, and it was mandatory for him to eat meat, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure he wanted to eat it. It wasn't no issue. But this is just a lesson y'all put on the spirit about veganism, how, you know, they're, they're transforming people's minds to be against Yah's order, and they're just creating uh, death. Frankenstein death is coming. And y'all just showing, showed me that, you know, the, the, the extreme veganism and um, 1 Timothy 4, you know, the people, the seducing spirit is here right now, and they're out there seducing people, and they're playing on people's emotions because they, they putting themselves fake blood or naked in the middle of the street. That's playing on people's emotions. People are like, you know, well, I don't want to eat meat. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're emotional manipulating. You're, you're telling people you shouldn't eat it. So is this that seducing spirit that's here right now? And uh, just to be on guard on it. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, it was edifying. Y'all got something out of it.